I think it's important to go back and look at your thinking and looking for a couple of things. Number one, you're looking for the assumptions you made. Like I'm, now I'm talking about the same buying stocks. Look at this, all the assumptions I made in the past and ask yourself, are they still true? Also, look for the logic. You know, if I had a flawed logic or if that thinking was just flawed based on the information I had at that time and if the world has changed and now I need to update my thinking on the subject. Like when I wrote the myopic circles, let's, let's talk about that. That myopic circles, I think it's a very interesting framework. So let's spend this a little bit. So I don't smoke. I used to smoke a bit when I was 21. And at that time, so if I look at my friends today, none of them smoke. And because we are attracted to people who are like us, who, you know, who share similar values. You know, I'm not judgmental about people who smoke. It's just their values. Usually smoking comes with other values that usually conflict, you know, with my values. And therefore, it's very easy to think, to have this myopia that people don't smoke, right? Well, in reality, 14% of Americans smoke. So statistically, we know it's not true. But here's the interesting part. If you find somebody who smokes and those people, most likely their friends also smoke because they're attracted to people who, who smoke. So you, you have this circle, like I have a circle that I have this life where my experiences limit my, my understanding of the world. And I assume that the world is as I see this. But the world is actually a lot more than what I see, right? And there are a lot of people who have different experiences than I do, etc. So the reason it's important to understand, when you analyze companies, we, like how it's very easy for us to think that, you know, give you one example, we were analyzing a company that does money transfers from the United States to Mexico. So my first thought was when I started to analyze the company, well, this company is going to be out of business. Why? Because... Who needs these services if you can just send money by PayPal or Venmo or whatever? Mm-hmm. When I started to do more research about the company, like, so this company focuses on the Mexico corridor. So people who send money from the U.S. to Mexico, most of these people are migrant workers that come to the United States. So I actually ended up going to Mexican neighborhoods in Denver and observing these people. And I realized they live in a different world. They rarely use credit cards. A lot of them don't have checking accounts in the United States. Most of their relatives in Mexico don't have checking accounts. And so they live in a cash economy. And so therefore, they don't even know how to spell PayPal. You know, like, no, they, well, I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I, mean, I don't want to insult yeah. anybody, anybody. But my point is, they, you know, they don't use PayPal. And they probably won't be using PayPal for a long time. So me going and exposing myself to the new world, you know, kind of expose my myopia that I, you know, that I have. And so now when I'm analyzing a company, I'm, I'm thinking, is my experience to that company's service limited by my, you know, kind of limited experience? So that's, you know, I'm constantly thinking about that.